Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about editing buttons with 22 apps. So to edit a button with 22 apps or to add one, all you have to do is come over to the left side on the main menu when you are editing your app and you simply drag in the button. Um, so you can drag in the button onto the canvas and it can be, you can put it wherever you really want. Um, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you'll see when you add it a group of sections that are brought up. So I'm gonna edit this button just to kind of show you. Um, you can see here you have uh, settings like bold, italicize, underline, strike through uh, to edit the button directly there. Um, you can also copy it, you can delete it. Uh, over on the left, you can change the font, the font size, which will affect how big the button is, of course, uh, the text color. You can also add subtext if you want, um, where you can add you know, additional text uh, underneath the button if you so choose. Uh, we're gonna skip that for this time though. Um, you can have a link, um, so you can set it to go somewhere, go to a screen, go back, link to a website, link to an app, uh, website within the app, uh, meaning that you can open up a website in the browser of that person's choice, or you can open up a website directly within the app so that they don't even have to leave your app, which is kind of useful. Um, I usually, if I'm linking outside to a website outside the app, it might be to either a funnel that I want them to go down specifically and if it, it can't be in the app for some reason, um, or uh, I want them to go to like a Facebook group, so I would choose outside of the app because I want it to open in the Facebook um, group, something like that. Whereas linking to a website in the app would definitely be for like, if you want them to read an article or you want them to access your um, support portal or you want them to book a call for a calendar. Like you can input your calendar link um, to have people book calls with you inside your app without ever leaving it, which is really, really useful. Um, you can have it load into the page. Uh, there can be a delay. Um, uh, there can you can change the background color or the button color. <clears throat> um, you can change the shadow, so you can add a little shadow to the app. The alignment, the text alignment, the width of the button, um, the letter spacing, the um, border if you want to border around the button, uh, as well as the spacing for um, the like with the button itself. So if you want to add more like width to the button. You can get a little bit crazy, but um, uh, basically you can adjust the width of the button as so uh, you need, all right? So those are all the settings to do with the button. I hope you found this valuable um, and please, please, please make sure you are taking advantage of the Facebook group, of the community, uh, of the support, um, of the awesome other videos I'm putting out. And I look forward to seeing your 22 app success very soon.